<laughs> I get my job back. Uh huh. Who's the old man now? Huh? Hey, Spencer, how you doing? Huh? Hey, did you eat a bad banana or something? You you don't look so good. You ready? Here we go. Hey, get it. I don't believe it. <laughs> Panther fans, how we doing? So we got New Jersey Panthers tonight. Start of a three-game set. It's not uh, not entirely on the road, obviously, because we're still at home. But New Jersey, Boston, New Jersey. It could get ugly, or or we could uh, we could have a reawakening of the Panther fan base and maybe a little bit of belief. Give me six points in these three games. In fact, make this the first three-game winning streak of the year. How about that? Huh? How about that for just absolutely Cocoa Puffs on my part? <laughs> Kachuk is back. That's good news. Bob is still in net. I don't know how many games in a row this guy can play, but apparently we're, we're fixing to find out. Um, I'm surprised. I kind of would have thought if Spencer was ready to go that you would have wanted to get him in here one last home game because next two on the road and got Boston and then New Jersey again. Uh, we're, it's fixing to get all sorts of interesting here. If you look at the standings, there's a lot of teams compacted within about four or five points. And this next couple of weeks, like I wrote for the Patreon and YouTube members, uh, this next couple of weeks defines it. All right? You've got to start putting together some three and four game winning streaks. Even if it takes us to overtime, we don't have to be overly concerned about that just yet. Just start banking some points. We are right on the cusp of either figuring it out or not. Gudis is questionable, so we don't know if he's going to be back in the lineup or not. Looks like Dalpe centering 4C, so we still got a little bit of injury issues going on there. But these are the guys. we got to make it work. Let's get to So, it's one nothing Panthers after one. I misspoke in the pregame. I thought the game was at home because then it's Boston and New Jersey again on Wednesday. But apparently, we went to New Jersey and then we will be coming back at home Wednesday against New Jersey. So, we've got a power play goal. It's one nothing Panthers. Um, we look decent. We look good. Not terrible. Not bad. The problem is, though, we have this consistent habit of getting that one nothing lead and not being able to get to two. We get that out of the periods, one nothing. But I, like somebody in the chat just said, hopefully this isn't the same hockey movie we just watched the other night. All right, so three one Panthers after two. We'll take it. All right. It looked like for a second New Jersey was going to come back. Okay, and uh, nothing doing. Three one Panthers. The problem is. Barkoff took a cross check to the outside of the knee after a, after a faceoff, and he's been out the entire second period. He ain't coming back. So, um, I I guess I'm just gonna have to put on the skates, get myself some gear, and head down there to Florida because we're running out of healthy, non-sick, non-injured players. Can we at least finish this game off? Two points! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Somehow, some way, uh, we'll take it. Bob is, what's that, six games in a row now? Right? Bob making some nice saves. I tell you, the thing that I like most about what I'm seeing from Bob is he's stopping the play. He's just like, boom. He's just like smashing that puck down, hiding it with his glove, getting the face off. We're winning some face offs. And uh, we get two points. And as usual, it costs us one of our better players, right? Because Gudis is probably going to come back the next game. And Barkov got cross-checked to the outside of the knee and went straight down and did not come back. And, you know, we already know what Barkov, whenever he gets hurt, it seems to take him a little bit of time to heal up. And hopefully there's nothing structurally wrong. But the knee bent in a manner that ain't supposed to bend. It's not good. It's not good.
but we got two points, but we lost Barkov. So, um, <laughs> oh man, you know, there are some years, there are some years where it just ain't, it just ain't happening. It looks like it just ain't going to happen. You know what I mean? Now, let's face it, Jersey's not playing great lately. They come out like their ass was on fire to start the season. And a couple double fans in the chat were saying, hey, man, you know, they're asking me, do I think the Devils could, you know, choke it away or somehow. I said, no, come on. They're way too far ahead to, to choke the playoffs, by the way. You can only lose so many games in a row. Now, I'm not saying the Devils are going to choke it away. What I'm saying is usually the Panthers are the team that a team gets healthy against. You know what I mean? Usually a team comes in, they've lost four or five in a row, play the Panthers, boom. It's the perfect panacea. It's the perfect medicine. Didn't happen tonight. Panthers played a good game. All right? Dennis Sanko actually looked pretty good out there tonight. I saw a few comments from a bunch of people. A few from a bunch. You know what I'm trying to say. I saw several comments from people liking Deanna Sanko's game. So that was good to see because we might need him because Barkov. Can we play a game without somebody either throwing up on the ice or leaving their head on the ice or their knee? Can, can we play a game without losing one of our best players for who the hell knows how long now? We got two points though, so that's good. Um, what the hell are we gonna do with this season, right? Win one, lose one. Win one, lose one. And and then we got Boston Monday, and Bob is playing his ass off, which is fantastic. But Spencer Knight, now Spencer Knight was playing his ass off. Then he gets sick. He hasn't played in like six months now, right? So you know whenever you throw him back out, it's already too late. You know what I mean? It's already way longer than anybody wanted Spencer Knight to be out. But problem is we got Boston and we got Jersey and we got the Islanders. So where are you throwing them, right? You're going to throw them out there rusty against one of these top teams? Or are you going to play Bob 10 in a row? You see what I'm saying? We got two points, but I've not seen a season just just continue to just throw dog shit problems one after another after another even when there's a silver lining up bob is playing good it's like yeah but at some point at some point right he's playing like his ass is on fire but if he slows down then we need spencer and spencer ain't been playing and we're supposed to have a split and barkoff's hurt now but we got two points Absolute. This wasn't even like Stu says Jekyll and Hyde. This is like Jekyll and Hyde at the same time. This was like both, right? You get we got the two points in Barkovsko, right? I mean, what are we supposed to do now? Montour looked like he got hurt for a little bit. He came back. I tell you what, if this team with this coach. And this luck that we've had so far, if this team can find a way to crawl, like in the descent, into the playoffs, they might just be stubborn enough to make some noise. Not because they're talented, but because if we continue at this pace of problems and, and challenges to overcome, if this continues and we somehow sneak into the eighth spot, Nobody else is going to have been through this much rigmarole to get there. You guys are probably wonder why I'm not happy. Just watched the Dolphins lose in the last play of the game. But that's besides the point. We got two points, but Barkov's hurt. I don't know what else to say, man. I can't believe this freaking season. Lundell was like... Almost ready to come back. Then he was day to day. Now he's no timetable week to week. What what's our training staff doing with these guys? How are we going backwards? Gudis had a concussion, but he was questionable to play today. You're either better from a concussion or you're not. Like like if you have to go skate, both, like you can't be a game time decision if you had a concussion. You see what I'm saying? There's some funky stuff going on here. Some really weird shit going on with this team. 
I can't figure it out. He got two points. Barkoff is hurt. Stu and I will be back in the morning. Maybe he can make some sense of this. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'll see you in the morning.